so we understand we have our observations that a tab table tennis ball a small light ball white ball that moving at high speed even if it hits you it does not it does not make much impact but but a cr cricket ball or a baseball ball moving at at that speed may may kill so similarly balls moving at slow speed can kill a person while a while a twig moving at very high speed will not be able to do anything okay or or similarly similarly say say if you want to push okay if you want to maybe push a stationary bus okay so pushing a stationary bus is difficult than than pushing a than pushing a car with the same force with the same force correct so there is something about about the mass and velocity that that makes an impact that matters okay so so there is something about the product of mass and velocity mass and velocity that matters okay that matters and that matters a lot correct so so similarly similarly we we can cite another example a, a bullet which is light hardly hardly 20 30 grams and that that is capable of killing people why because it moves at such a high speed a bullet which is light can kill people due to its high velocity high velocity now we understand that there is something about the product of mass and velocity that matters hence we define a term a new term that is actually the product of mass and velocity okay that is the product of mass and velocity and we term this uh, we we call this new term as momentum okay so so it was a term that was coined by newton for the first time when he actually proceeded to define his second law fine what are we trying to do in second law from first law we understand if there is no unbalanced force obviously we will not be able to accelerate something now we are trying to do what we tr we are trying to find out if the force is given if the force is given what will be the acceleration okay this is what we are actually trying to do but before that as we said newton defined a term that is called momentum momentum what is momentum momentum is denoted by small p and and is defined as and it is defined as momentum p is equal to m into v that is mass into into velocity so momentum is mass into velocity momentum is mass into velocity fine 
this is mass into velocity and hence what will be its unit its unit will be sorry unit will be kg meter per second mass into velocity the unit of the mass multiplied by the unit of velocity that becomes its unit okay small s that is the unit of momentum okay now velocity we know is a vector quantity okay since velocity is a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity hence hence mv that is the momentum is also a vector quantity is also a vector quantity okay so both are both are vector quantities understand fine we now next go on to define the second law of motion right